Alvin Castro here, and in this video, I'll show you how to integrate the Network Analytics Engine with a ServiceNow ticketing system using one of the Aruba curated agents. The Aruba Network Analytics Engine has the capability to interface with external applications. The primary way that the NAE does this is through the REST API. Therefore, any application that has its own REST API can be interacted with by the NAE, such as ServiceNow. For those that didn't know, ServiceNow is an IT services, operations, and business management platform. It can be utilized for managing incidents and problems, changes and releases, assets, configurations, and more. For our integration with NAE, the agent will automatically generate an incident report whenever a configuration change occurs on the device. This will allow the IT staff to be notified when this happens, so that if this was an unexpected change, it will kickstart the resolution process. Before we get to the Network Analytics Engine, you will need a ServiceNow instance with the required credentials. If you are interested in learning, exploring, experimenting with the platform, and testing application ideas, you can sign up for a Sandbox instance for developers. Once you have an instance up and running, you'll need to know the instance name and the credentials for the role that the NAE will use when creating the tickets. You can find the instance name as part of the URL to the ServiceNow instance. With that information, let's go to our Network Analytics Engine and install the script. I suggest to install the ServiceNow Configuration Change Monitor version 1.1 or later, as that has improvements to credential encryption and better detailed information during ticket generation. Now, I'll go over the various parameters used when creating the ServiceNow agent. The domain name is a ServiceNow instance, usually started with dev followed by numbers. Next, put the password to log into the instance. The severity level is an integer from 1 to 3, where 1 is equivalent to high severity, 2 is medium, and 3 is low severity. By default, we'll be leaving this at 3. Next is the short description. This is a quick one sentence summary of the issue. This will generally be the first message seen at a glance when perusing through the list of incidents. By default, for this agent version 1.1, the short description will say, NAE detected a config change event on device with IP, and then the IP of the system. The urgency level is also an integer from 1 to 3, where 1 is equivalent to high urgency, 2 is medium, and 3 is low. Similar to the severity level, by default, this is at 3. The username is a login name used by the NAE agent when creating the ticket. Finally, if your device requires a web proxy to reach the ServiceNow instance, you can put that in here. By default, it is blank, as in there is no proxy. Note that the script defaults to port 8080 for the web proxy, so you only need to put in the IP address for your proxy. After you create the agent, it will now start monitoring for configuration changes on the device. Let's log into the device and make a few changes now. I'll go ahead and create a VLAN, give it a description, and a few more interface options. As I'm doing this, you might have seen that the agent graph spiked. The agent graph itself shows the rate of change for the configuration. Because I made a few of those changes, the rate will suddenly increase. You may notice that this isn't creating a critical alert on the network analytics engine, so it's not necessarily raising any flags on the system itself. If we look at the alert details, we can see that it performed multiple actions, such as generating a syslog event for the configuration change, and it also ran a show system CLI command. In addition, we can see that it ran a diff command to see the differences between the previous checkpoints. Now let me log in to the ServiceNow instance and see what has changed. By looking at all the recent incidents, I can see that there is the new incident that was just created. Here I can identify the different changes that we made in the parameters, such as the short description and the urgency. If we look at the full description, we can actually see that the agent passed the differences between the configurations. This is a great example of how the Network Analytics Engine can integrate with third-party ticketing systems. 
in addition to ServiceNow, there is a script that integrates with the top desk ticketing system on the Aruba Solutions Exchange. If there's a system or application that has a REST API, the NAE can integrate with it. There's also a script to help notify your IT staff by email from those configuration changes if you aren't interested in using a ticketing system necessarily. The network analytics engine is there to make the job of the IT staff easier. Hey, do you have any questions or suggestions about the network analytics engine or automation in general? Check out our Airheads developer community. We've got experts standing by ready to answer. Thanks a lot.